sometimes I feel crushed by the specter of what is right in the perspective of the institution that trained me or in the perspective of my superiors or the masters that I admire. But getting stuck on that doesn't actually help me make the art that I have to make. It doesn't help me fulfill the potential that I have as a whole person and as an artist. One of the most powerful tools that I have is called free writing. And I've always had a special relationship with the written word. Um, I read much more than I spoke or listened when I was learning English. I free write almost every day. I, my journals fill up so fast. Sometimes ideas that come out in this uncensored um, stream of consciousness, you know, uh, but but even stream of beyond consciousness, because sometimes I write things that make absolutely no sense um, at the time or afterward. Sometimes things come out in it that I want to process or organize or play with in some way, and one of my favorite tools in music composition is the giant sketch pad and I start drawing or diagramming or just like arranging words or colors or um, you know shapes lines on these big pieces of paper and every single one of them I you know after I work on it a little bit I it's ready to be just tossed aside um, but this is a way for me to play with and develop concepts. So this is an example of um, organizing my piece, Treatment for the Rip and Stitches, uh, which was a recovery piece from a um, sudden hospitalization and surgery uh, after I developed an infection. I, I was inspired with, with some of it uh, by the delirious dreams that I had when I first got that fever. My entire arm to the fingers were was immobile. For a week, I was hospitalized for eight nights. I had two surgeries, and it cost ninety thousand dollars I've made maybe that much in my life I realized after uh, halfway through the piece that I couldn't use the notation software that I had been counting on before but I think I've actually figured out a way to work around it anyway I hand engraved part of that piece engraving is the fancy word for um, making the final copy in uh, sheet music. We can engrave by hand, which usually means using a nice pen and staff paper, or uh, most of the time we try to use a computer program. It can look a lot, a lot nicer. Every piece that I compose now I put so much of my stream of consciousness and then deliberate organization and processing and development into it. I consider the way I interact and the way elements interact in the piece and the way performers might interact in the piece. Full Contact Violin was my first exploration of, well, what if we take away every written note that we can? and focus only on the relationship between the performer and the audience? What if we even take away skill, virtuosity? What's exposed in Full Contact Violin is my experience of my body and of touch, of the lifetimes of histories of uh, oppression around the body and taboos and silencing around um, share, the way we share our bodies, the way we cover them, the way we ask for or give consent, and to do it through uh, uh, almost hyperbolic image of 
performance art, the classical violinist, you know, classical violin, is, I think, really sets off that public, private, 